If you enjoy this video, consider supporting us on Patreon for just $5 a month. Click on the card in the upper right hand corner for more information. Hey guys, this is Julian of Julian Gray Media. It's been a while since I've done a vlog like this, but I thought that this was an important enough moment that it was worthy of capturing the process. If you didn't know, me and my girlfriend have lived together in this current apartment for a few months now. We're moving at the end of this week. I've been packing all of the studio up. I'm leaving the musical stuff up uh, until the last second because I am working on a lot of things, including a new Gradient compilation. If you're not familiar with Gradient, it's my platform for budding artists. Basically, we release an annual art collection of musicians, poets, visual artists, designers, creative writers, etc. We kind of put it all together into a CD. If you want to check out my Gradient project, you can go and click on the link in the upper right hand corner right now um, and check out our most recent project, which was Gallery Live, a live stream festival that I helped curate. But yeah, I'm in the process of a move right now, guys. When I get settled into the new place, I plan on doing a sort of soft revamp of the channel. I know I haven't been posting nearly that much. It's because my career has kind of shifted in the past year or two. Prior to 2018, I think, when I first released my Mousetrap EP, I had my first few singles on Zero Three and Enhanced, and I started touring a lot. I was doing YouTube videos up to twice or three times a week, and since then it's really kind of seeped out of me. I've done a video every several months, either live streams where I stream and fix your projects or give you critique on your projects or just, you know, recap videos from the shows I've been playing. And I know that there's an itch that hasn't been scratched, which is that like tutorial content that I was doing since like 2012. So now that I've, you know, been settled down here for coronavirus stuff, I'm not touring right now. Now I have a bigger space and a more inspiring space to record in. I think I'm going to start a new series of videos on the channel, kind of outlining the small little tips that I have for a lot of different types of devices like um, EQ or compressor or things like that that have really become very present in my modern workflow that I didn't mention in my previous videos because I wasn't you know acquainted with these ideas or tips back then and I don't really upload on YouTube as much as I used to and I want to get back into that because I really did love making those videos and helping you guys uh, I still teach to this day I have a patreon program where I can teach students one-on-one -on -one. and it's been very nice and rewarding but something is missing in that I'm not reaching the majority of people like I was a while ago. It's very fulfilling for me and I, I really enjoy helping people just in general. I want to help more people than just 15 or whatever I do every month. So uh, without further ado, I think let's continue this vlog. Let's get moving. Just wanted to give you guys some updates before we did. Okay, we're two days out from moving now and everything's getting broken down. My infamous RGB fireplace is no more. Rest in peace to the boy. If you want to see the video on that, you can click on the link in the upper right. Just kind of packing stuff up. Hi Katie. Hi Mr. Axolotl. Got most of the stuff packed up. All our stuff's packed. All my stuff is essentially packed. Other than that, it's just cleaning and boxing the last few things that are left. Gonna miss the studio setup. It was really cool with the TV on the wall, which I've taken down just uh, earlier today. Tortilla pocket, tortilla pocket. Tor Introducing the tortilla pocket. Go get your tortilla pocket at your local tortilla Put a tortilla in your pocket. Okay, so we have finally packed everything in the building. I'm gonna flip the camera over here. Here it is. The empty remains of my old studio. Moving to the new space, looking forward to it. The stuff here, we're gonna come back for a second trip, but that's it. See you in the new place. So within a few hours, me and a few friends, this is Julian on the screen here and his girlfriend. Um, we also had 28 millimeter come out and my best friend's girlfriend came out as well to help. We managed to get all the stuff moved over to downtown LA uh, within a few hours. It wasn't that long of a process. We didn't have a ton of stuff, but it was a lot of work and I thank everyone who helped in the process. Okay, this is the new space, everyone. Massive windows. It doesn't look like much because the furniture is everywhere. Katie's over there. <laughs> 
be outside. I'm probably gonna put my studio like here. Again, we're on the sixth floor. Pretty cool. And yeah, that's the new place. Okay, end of day one, uh, we unpacked most of the stuff. Everything's hooked up. Got all my game consoles hooked up. And the, and the beans, there they go. <laughs> uh, it's end of day one, we're gonna finish this up in the morning. Good morning guys, welcome to the new place. We stayed up all night setting up, as you saw in the previous time lapse. Um, my arms were so sore last night from the moving and, and just setting up that I couldn't even sleep. But um, here we go, kitchen stuff, similar as before, but we've gotten all this set up, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so cool little uh, reading area. It's got like the table books and all that, my Google Home and the cool steer lamp with my bamboo plant that's been with me for years now. Shout out to you, buddy. Um, Katie's desk, all her work stuff. What you really wanted to see, my studio space, which is largely the same as it was in the last place. Except now I can sit here. This is about eye height, eye level. And I can just look up and look at the sky or look at the city, uh, be inspired, and then look down and start working. Got my art from before. You guys are familiar with that. Ableton push to the right there. there. That's the bedding area stuff, not too important for you guys. Um, this is like where I put all the media stuff. So the TV used to be mounted on the wall above my studio in the old place. Um, but I decided it wasn't really necessary and it was kind of a distraction, if I'm being honest. I threw YouTube up on there while I worked and stuff and I would often get distracted. So I'm hoping that this visual distraction is actually just an inspiration and not a distraction in the same way. So yeah, we have uh, the console that was behind the, I guess the shelf that was behind me in the old setup is now the media center. And it's at an angle here because I wanted to have this flow through the, the place. So you can walk in any direction, not have it boxed in in any different way. All the consoles there, Xbox One, Wii U, Nintendo 64, and two Nintendo Switches, both mine and Katie are hooked up and ready to go. Just whenever you wanna switch inputs, you can use any of them. Play some Mario 64, Super Mario Kart 64, and um, of course anything on Switch. Yeah, record collection and all that stuff is all the same. I'm gonna put the mirror up and the sound acoustic treatment up around. Um, whenever I get the chance, that'll be awesome. Got Nick playing in the background, SpongeBob earlier. And yeah, that's pretty much the space. I'm putting up this Beatles wall poster. Uh, it's called a door poster. It's like 60 inches long and it's gonna go right here um, soon. And we also ordered a vintage uh, Apple and uh, Henson collaboration with Jim Henson, Kermit the Frog, and it's from the 1990s campaign of Think Different, one of my favorite advertising campaigns ever. That Chinese art piece there. Um, oh, and that, that poster is going to go somewhere around here. It might go above the kitchen and stuff. Uh, just wanted to show you guys this view, which is really cool. I can sit in bed here, and the sky is the view. So, wake up in the morning really inspired, head out into the common area, and get some music writing, which is what, um, you know, I love to do. And 
I think with this natural light, I'm super excited to record new videos for you guys because it's just so visually pleasing and aesthetically pleasing. Um, everything I record here is gonna look gorgeous. So very excited to start shooting again. Awesome guys, it is a few days later now. As you can see, everything is pretty set up around here. This is a camera angle I'm playing with. Let me know in the comment section if you like it. I'm also gonna set up my DSLR here so that we can have a front on angle as well. I just thought that this was kind of more interesting with the windows and stuff than all of the uh, TV and the kitchen behind. So one camera angle this one, I'm gonna do a DSLR here. When I get it set up, I have a capture card coming in so that I can use it as a webcam so I can record like this. But for the foreseeable future, every video should look something like this from now on. Hope you guys are excited as I am. I have a lot of cool ideas for videos coming up and I'm really inspired to record because of the entire setup here. As we described with the view and the very ergonomic layout that I have here. I think that wraps up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me and Katie, my girlfriend, struggle through moving all this stuff over here and setting it up. A few quick notes, I have two remixes coming up, one for my friend Atlas that's coming out on Mousetrap in a week or so, and the day after that I have a remix for the Progressive House legend Matt Fax that's coming out on the 19th. So it's the 18th and 19th, you can go and pre-save both of those songs in the description of this video. If you like my progressive trance kind of stuff, uh, you'll really like these two. I think they're some of my best work in a while. And uh, those are coming out next week, so I thought I would mention it in this video so you guys can go and check them out. But yeah, um, this is a moving vlog first and foremost. I don't want to keep it carrying on too long, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Want you to hold me